Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a review on the Steam controller as running under Linux. Now for those of you that are interested, I am currently running uh, Manjaro 64-bit on the XFCE desktop and it's all up to date and running. Now I am using uh, a program called SC Controller which is available on GitHub, it's open source, it's very readily available and it's designed to um, control the controller and manage the controller and map all the buttons and everything without the need for Steam. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be using today through this demonstration which allows you to play lots of other games in a very customizable way. I'm going to give you a short demonstration of the software in question just, just so you know about some of the options available for the Steam controller as a whole. I'm going to be playing a little bit of the game just to show you how the mouse works and I've chosen OpenMW first off because it's a really good open source implementation or at least the engine is of a really 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 good game and I know a lot of you guys like it as well so if you want to um, get the old school game Morrowind running on Linux natively then just go to OpenMW.org and all the instructions and downloads and stuff will be there and it can run on just about any Linux distribution I think they've even got a plan for BSD in the works. So, so there's that. So I'm going to be basically giving you a bit of a demonstration. This is going to be a bit of a, a tutorial kind of thing uh, where I just sort of show you what it's like to use the Steam Controller. Rather informal, nothing too fancy. Um, and, uh, and I'll give you a, a look through some of the menus and some of the customization options. But before we do all of that, I'm quickly just going to go over to Ariel's trade about? house here um, and buy and sell some goods. Now the character that I am playing, for those of you that are interested, is a red guard monk called Eddard. Um, this is all pretty um, randomly selected stuff. I don't usually play uh, these kind of characters, but I thought I might be. Speak freely, friend. Why the heck not? So um, this is the inventory man. I offer the best values in town. Now I'm playing a monk character, so I'm not going to be too big on material possessions. The engraving of healing, there's some bits and pieces here. So what would a monk need? Possibly a staff. They're quite... They use a lot of staffs. And also, a silver staff allows me to hit ghosts. It's a ghost hitting stick. Um, good pair of boots. Wouldn't go amiss, I guess. Okay. And there we go. So the inventory management, and then I can equip stuff using the mouse here. So I can just uh, put those nice boots on, and will I have the staff? We'll use the staff for a bit, and we can exit. So I'm oh, listening. Hello, sir. Let's go on a mission. Let's go and walk to the town that we're supposed to walk to. Uh, it's quite a quiet route, so it'll give me an opportunity to explain a little bit about the uh, about the controls, as well as or the controller rather, uh, as well as give you a bit of a demonstration um, as to what it's like and what it feels like to play. So, the idea behind this is that the Steam controller it's a very 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 good controller for. Um, for, for old games that are usually mouse and keyboard driven and um, and if you want to, to basically give them a new lease of life if you want to if you want to set up like a couch PC a couch computer um, and you want to play some old school games this is a pretty good option for a controller if you're looking for maybe like a, a pretty inclusive uh, sort of encompassing remote control kind of device. The responsiveness on this is great, as you can see here. It's uh, it's very smooth uh, playing with it. Okay, so here we are up against our first enemy. So it's the formidable rat. So I have my stick equipped. Now, how do I prepare for battle? There we go. Hit, 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 hit. hit. So as you can see, this is some of the old school random number generating style of combat. There we go. I'm not very good at hitting rats with sticks. They evade me. And then I can put that away. So yeah, so for my for my weapons, for example, I've bound the um, holster slash unholster weapon as the right bumper. And then attack as the Yeah, as the as the right bumper. And then attack as the um, right trigger. So at the moment we're, we're just walking to Balmora, which is the uh, the first sort of port to call in the game. 
I'm controlling the character with the with the actual analog stick, um, and that feels just as natural as it would do in a um, you know with with with, with any other controller. Uh, I also like that. Um, like you can map anything to anything else, right? So I'm going to give you a bit of a uh, demonstration here. So I can pull up the Steam controller here, and this this gives you like all the options you could possibly even imagine. So we've got the mouse wheel on this left pad here. We've got the uh, the just the normal mouse control on the on the right, and we've got sort of Xbox style buttons here. Start and select. Everything can be bound. We've got. Um, we've got a bumper button here. We've got a trigger button here. Underneath the grip, there are two paddles. I guess you'd call them. So it gives you six buttons on, on each side. Uh, it gives you six buttons, three on each side, as well as all the other stuff that comes with it. And it's great. Uh, it does have what's called haptic feedback, which is a weird kind of feedback that you get when you run your finger over the tracker pads. I've turned this off for two reasons. One, it's just it's just too much sort of uh, moving around the controller, if you ask me. Uh, and secondly, it feels like it wears the battery down quite a lot. Uh, I don't have like any anything else to back this up with. It just feels like I might get a bit more battery longevity out of it if I just turned off the the haptic feedback because it just did, did seem to to use a lot of energy, make a lot of noise as well. So it's not great for streaming. So you you want to turn the the haptic feedback off. It has an micro USB to USB cable that comes with the device itself as well so you can plug it in as a wired controller as well as a wireless controller and this is the SC controller application available on github and in the AUR um, and I'm sure from many other places as well um, and it just it lays it out all there nice and simple for you even gives you the menu button now when it comes to mapping controls for specific games because as you can imagine the control scheme for something like Morrowind and the control scheme for something like maybe Deus Ex for example completely different um, do you alter the controls of the game or do you alter the controls of the pad well you can alter the controls of the pad you can have a special um, scheme for each individual game so I can bring up the menu uh, for SC controller this is only available on the SC controller uh, application and I can uh, scroll using the stick and the A button. So as you can see here, I've got my Morrowind profile uh, selected, but I can have my Besiege profile for another game. I've got the desktop profile if I just want like a, a mouse and keyboard kind of affair. Uh, so I've got Duke Nukem, Deus Ex Invisible War. So all of these things, you know, they, they all have their, each, each game that I use the controller with has its own specific control scheme that I can hop on and go. That way I can make a few ad adjustments and, and additions and I know that it's not going to affect another game unknowingly down the line. And when it comes to accessing the menus, yeah, mouse and menus, very easy. Now, this may look a little bit shaky for me, but I'm still sort of getting used to it. It took me about a day to get used to just using the control. But after that, it does. It feels more and more natural uh, day on day. Then there is one sort of big criticism that I will flag up right off the bat, and that is that the controller itself rather large. So I've got quite big hands, so that's fine. But if you are uh, particularly small-handed, um, then you may possibly struggle with this. I don't know, but I've heard a few people um, raise that concern as well, and I can I can kind of see why. So we're going to go down this way. So just to give a few thoughts on the um, on the on the physical hardware, uh, it does feel very nice in the hand. The batteries are weighted one two double A's, uh, one in each of the um, of, of the grips, which feels absolutely very very natural. In fact, it was a couple of days in before I even realised that the weighting of the battery was. It was clearly considered, and it was so natural that it, it just it fits in the hands really nicely, really smoothly as well. Uh, I do find that the distance between maybe some of the buttons, like the A button and the X button, are a little bit far from the from the mouse tracker pad, just so that it's a little bit more of a stretch than it possibly could be. But then again, I don't I don't really see how they could have remedied that just looking at the controller itself. You can of course map the start and select buttons as well, so you can pull up the menu and. Um, go back in quite easily. Overall, fantastic piece of kit. Um, very few complaints with it overall, and I'm certainly going to be using it uh, for the foreseeable future. So when it comes to Linux compatibility, um, like I say, I run Manjaro XFCE Edition, which is uh, very similar to Arch. 
and I got SC controller through the AUR and it set up really without a hitch. Now I sometimes come across some problems if I'm running Steam and SC controller at the same time. I need to start SC controller first um, in order to get the so it wants to go up here. Oh, another formidable fail. Uh, yeah, so um, I've got to always start SC controller first if I want SC controller to manage my uh, Steam controller. Otherwise, I have to restart the entire system, which is a bit of a pain, but far from the worst of workarounds. See, I'm a bit more out of breath, as you can tell, from the, the lower green bar in the corner. Ouch. Let's get rid of the stick. I'm not so hot with the stick. Much better with my fists. Punch a rat to death. There you go. That's not going to make this uh, video advertiser friendly. Two hours later. Okay, I'm done with you. All in all, love this piece of kit. Um, it's really useful. Uh, it comes with all the stuff that you need. It even comes with a couple of batteries when it came in the post for me. It comes with all the cables. Um, it comes with. Um, I think that's really about it, cables and batteries, but uh, but it is all you need. It's uh, it's a full setup, and uh, it's good quality stuff. I mean, the, the controller itself, it feels a really good quality controller. It's fun to play games on. If you're looking at, at making your own sort of couch uh, PC kind of thing where you can play maybe some Linux or, or even Windows games just from your couch or whatever, uh, it works well under Wine. It works well... Um, under just about all conditions, and um, and what I like is is that it, it, the customizability is just so in depth that uh, you can even map uh, like individual keys. So you can map W S A and D to the left um, analog controller, and it feels like an actual proper analog controller as well. It doesn't feel like you've just mapped four buttons to uh, to a, a joystick. Uh, it's really good at sort of blending all those together. So yeah, it's got a few shortcomings. But overall, really good piece of kit. Um, I would like to thank the Linux Gamer 1920 for providing me with this bit of kit. Uh, since I didn't pay for it, I'm not really going to say too much about whether or not it's worth value for money. But there are worse controllers about for this price. So I will say that. And it is nice to have a controller that works natively on Linux as well. So I'm going to leave it there before the rain gets me too soaking. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, I give it a recommendation. Uh, it sets up nicely, uh, it feels nice in the hands. I'm still on the same original set of batteries that I used when I unpacked it a couple of weeks ago, so it's certainly good on battery life in that department. Um, good across the board. Uh, I strongly advise you guys check it out. Um, so, that's about it from me today. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.